Okay, so those of you who are preparing for interviews of uh, coaching shipyard limited, as you know, there are three components of that interview. One is uh, your uh, group discussion, second is writing skills, and third is your interview. And in interview, there are two further components. One is HR, and uh, second is technical part. As far as HR is concerned, in every HR part of any interview, they tend to ask you questions related to the organization. That means when you go for the interview, you should know uh, something about uh, coaching shipyard. So that particular knowledge will be required. What do you know about coaching shipyard and uh, all these things? So let me share with you the document here also. And uh, let me discuss uh, some of the important uh, focus points which you should consider for coaching shipyard. So uh, you can uh, take this uh, document from the website of your PD education. So coaching shipyard limited is a mini ratana company as you know under the ministry of ports shipping and waterways and you should know the minister also concerned that is given in this document yes now coaching is in kerala and coaching is also related to vasco de gama the first european hitting the west coast in 1498 it's a very uh, you know good uh, uh, place tourist attraction uh, is there so this is the largest greenfield ship building and ship repairing yard in the country. So largest shipping yard that is the in the port city of Cochin. So you should know where is this located. So that is uh, what uh, is the knowledge which you should have. And those of you who are from uh, you know Kerala only. So let me tell you uh, some questions related to the you know district in which this Cochin shipyard is. Those kind of questions can be asked and uh, you need to prepare on those lines now uh, some history when was it incorporated as uh, uh, government of india company and uh, what it has worked so this w uh, dwt is a uh, you know some kind of capacity at the end i will discuss with you uh, capacity in tonnage how much you produce the uh, this particular uh, uh, build the ship ship size how much ton the ship is of that capacity is w dwt so you should know that now uh, you know this is some information related to the customers of coaching shipyard limited europe and middle east are the customers and also in india the navy utl coast guard fisheries and port trust merchant ships of uh, shipping corporation of india ongc so these are some of the customers of coaching shipyard limited he will ask you what are our main products and what are who are our customers yes uh, just to go through the vision mission and objectives sometime they ask you have you visited our site and uh, have you uh, do you know what is our vision and mission is and these uh, vision mission statements also help you to uh, frame the good answer you know, why you want to join coaching shipyard so that kind of question answer can be framed again this majority of information i have taken from the website from the website of other ministries and from internet sources like wikipedia and all Cochin Shipyard, when was it conceived as first greenfield building uh, yard in country and uh, when was it incorporated? So this year is very important. Some more information uh, related to, you know, uh, what is the advantage of this? Uh, this reduced the average time of construction of large ship uh, in the last decade through some of the latest techniques. So these kind of things will be very, very helpful to you you know uh, to tell that why you want to join coaching ship so those of you who are from mechanical background maybe some of you must be doing masters in cad cam so that can be helpful for you to answer frame your answer uh, so when uh, this uh, again the history i want you to go through this entire history and then sometime we will ask you what are our different business domains in which business verticals do we work yes we are into ship building and we are into ship repair we are into offshore activities and some other activities also so as far as the ship building is concerned you know, it can build a ship up to this much of uh, you know size or uh, i'll say uh, this size of the ship how do you uh, calculate the size of the ship so this can be one of the criteria dwt so what is dwt i will just discuss with you a little later so and what kind of uh, vessels ship uh, is called a vessel also what kind of vessels tanker what is tanker what is bulk carrier tanker which is carrying the oil bulk carrier which is solid product it is carrying passenger vessels etc so all these kind of vessels it is building and uh, it has international clients also and uh, you know for aircraft carrier also 
other products are tankers product carriers bulk carriers search passenger vessels so all these are products ship building and then ship repairing also it is also ship repairing uh, you know uh, this uh, shipyard and uh, what are the various customers and that also we have discussed so uh, recently ongc sagar vijay and ins virat ins virat ins vikrant these are some of the names you have to understand so just go through this offshore activity what are the offshore activities that also you should know and what other activities are there yes iso certification in and uh, this ohsas certification these certifications help you any manufacturing company you know they should have some kind of a certification to uh, ensure that yes our quality we are sticking to the quality production so that particular thing is required now as uh, many times you know they tend to ask you questions related to cmd who is the cmd cmd so madhur nair is the cmd and uh, and when what is his background so you should know he is a bachelor of technology in uh, naval architect and ship building and his masters of engineering in this so you are mtech and uh, why you want to join uh, coaching shipyard so you can always say sir our worthy our uh, uh, respectable uh, cmd is also masters in particular domain and uh, that is that will be helpful to you to frame your answer so, uh, uh, then who is the union cabinet minister for you know port shipping and waterways that you should know sonowal is the union uh, cabinet minister and uh, this is the nodal agency uh, which is the this ministry and other than that other than shipping uh, this coaching ship are limited this ministry has two public sectors shipping corporation of india which is also navaratna company and coaching ship are limited hugli uh, coaching ship are limited is uh, is the uh, only the you know uh, this subsidiary company of coaching ship are limited that also you should know some information related to you know uh, maritime sector of india you should know Uh, coastline how much is the coastline of india and uh, the benefit which can get through this particular you know uh, trade through uh, this particular routes maritime routes sagarmala is very very important uh, project or initiative of government of india and that is to uh, in, it is related to infrastructure development so <clears throat> you should know what is sagarmala and uh, uh, what are the various components of this sagarmala project and uh, it was uh, started in 2016 uh, by prime minister of india and it is to enhance the connectivity between ports and you know uh, domestic uh, production center or consumption center the main purpose of sagarmala was to develop the infrastructure and to enhance the communi- uh, this uh, uh, this particular you know uh, connectivity so that business could be enhanced or could be increased so it is further made up of five components port modernization port connectivity with the hinterland and uh, promotion of coastal shipping and in inland waterways coastal community development so all these five components you should be aware how many shipyards are there in india 23 shipyards and uh, cochin shipyard is the you know first indigenous uh, this uh, first this the largest uh, shipyard and i was telling you this uh, dwt is a measure of total content of a ship including cargo and everything so this is called dead weight tonnage twt what do you understand by dead weight tonnage that is what you should know and how is this measured the dead weight tonnage that also you should be aware of no thereafter it is the same like uh, because it is a minyatana company so we are mentioning about uh, which are the uh, maharatana companies and what is the criteria to divide maharatana and navaratana companies and uh, which are this one is the navratna this uh, company which we have just seen uh, uh, we were just focusing on cochin shipyard limited and we saw that it is the mini ratna company so maharatna navratna and then mini ratna these are the categories you should know what are the categories so uh, privatization of psus the moment you say i wanted to join psu they may uh, also ask you that what if it becomes privatization so privatize so why you want to join it so the answer should uh, no you should know these things privatization of psu what is the stand of government in privatization so government no doubt wants to privatize the public sector but not the profit making public sectors and what do you mean by disinvestment and uh, what are the recent developments and uh, 
objectives of disinvestments in india and uh, these things should be we should be aware and also national asset monetization pipeline please go through this also this is also recent latest uh, update by the government so take this document uh, please prepare this and i'm very sure some questions they can ask you from this particular document so uh, this uh, interview stage is always very crucial stage uh, in the selection so if you start answering if you if some question is asked to you in hr part related to coaching shipyard and if you answer it correctly that can fetch you really good marks in the interview so just prepare it and take this document from uh, the website of the free education thank you